we have Court McGee versus Alex Morono. So Morono and McGee, uh, yeah, interesting fight. I mean, Court McGee, 21 and 12. He's coming off two straight first round KO losses. Fighting against Alex Morono, 23 and 9. He's coming off a loss via decision to Joaquin Buckley, who we just saw fight last week. Let's look at the odds for this fight right here. We have Morono at minus two eighty five. Yeah, give me uh, give me some Morono here. Uh, <laughs> I, I think that he's gonna be one of my gigalocks on the card. You know, I, I believe that UFC is giving Morono a bone after that tough matchup that they gave him against Joaquin Buckley. I mean, we saw that Wa Joaquin Buckley is a ranked fighter in this welterweight division, and you know, Alex Morono. He's on the cusp of the rankings, right? He's not really a ranked fighter, so I think that was a mismatch. Morono, you know, he tends to struggle against fighters that have more power or are more athletic than him. And McGee is neither in this matchup. I think that McGee's last finish in the UFC was in 2010. And he has been a decision machine machine ever since, unless he has been finished himself. I mean, McGee's last advantage in his game, in my opinion, was his durability. And even that has faded. It's coming off two straight KO losses in the first round. I just think Morono will have the advantage here on the feet with his underrated power and good movement. And Morono will also be able to hold his own on the ground and in grappling situations. So, I mean, we saw what he did with his sub win against Tim Means. Uh, this guy is pretty high IQ as a fighter. He just has some trouble with people who are more athletic than him or has more power than him. So... Yeah, pick here is going to be Morono via decision, but I could see a finish here too. I think he's a safe parlay piece. I would, you know, stuff in the parlays. I think he's going to be a good lock this week. So, yeah, minus 285. I mean, not bad odds there. So, yeah, give me that all day on Alex Morono.